Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be looking at another network connectivity option with AWS called Direct Connect. So we looked at the AWS VPN and how it enables us to create these secure ways to connect different uh, networks or uh, even end user systems to AWS by using the public internet uh, through a VPN tunnel. The you know network traffic going through this tunnel is encrypted and provides a layer of security as our data is sent across the internet and enables our AWS VPC to identify the source network or client VPN application as a trusted source that allows our traffic into the VPC. But the internet is shared by millions and millions of people. And, you know, it may not always be the most consistent experience when sending large amounts of traffic or, you know, data through the uh, public internet. We may also have some type of policy or regulatory requirements for our business where we just simply can't send certain types of sensitive data over the public internet. So how do we connect our large corporate office sites or uh, the traditional data centers to our AWS VPC without using the public internet? Well, we can use AWS Direct Connect as a connectivity solution here. AWS Direct Connect allows us to establish a dedicated private network connection between our large office locations or uh, you know, those on-premise traditional data center facilities to our AWS VPC. Now, there's a lot of details and options we won't dive into with establishing these uh, Direct Connect connections. But the basic idea is that in most cases, we would establish a dedicated network connection through one of many uh, Direct Connect partner internet service providers. This is basically your private network link between your network and the network router present within the Direct Connect location facility. We also need to make a Direct Connect request for our AWS account. And this can take a few days for uh, the approval process from the AWS side. And once that's complete, we get a special authorization letter to provide to our network partner uh, creating this network link for us. Now within this Direct Connect location, AWS also has networking equipment that will connect into the AWS Backbone network. So our Direct Connect partner we're working with to establish this link would then use this authorization letter and their special security clearances to access the secured AWS networking equipment and establish this cross connect between their routing equipment and AWS. This effectively gives you that private network connection into the AWS Backbone network. Now, depending on the Direct Connect location and the partners you're working with, you can get Direct Connect uh, connection speeds from uh, 50 megabits per second uh, all the way up to 100 gigabits per second. So along with the benefits of having your own private network link between your office or data center location to AWS to uh, you know, help improve the speed and latency compared to going over the public internet, there's also the potential to save a lot of money here if you have a lot of data transfer between your office or data center locations uh, to your VPC and AWS. Now, as an example, say we're in a uh, AWS region and have a volume tier where we'd pay uh, nine cents per gigabyte of traffic that we'd send out uh, through the internet. With the site-to-site -site VPN option, this is the price we'd pay for the uh, data leaving uh, AWS back to our office or data center sites as that goes out over the internet. However, with Direct Connect, we'd pay something like two cents per gigabyte for our data being sent back out from AWS to our office or data center. So if you're sending tens of terabytes or more of traffic from AWS to your office locations, the data center uh, transfer cost savings can be quite significant. And also don't forget that along with the savings, you also have the benefit of that dedicated network connection and potential for a lot of higher bandwidth compared to uh, using the internet. Now we won't get into the details here, but there's a lot more to consider with these direct connect options. The pricing mentioned above can vary significantly depending on the region you're in and the amount of traffic volume you have. And you'd also need to uh, factor in the cost of establishing these uh, dedicated uh, network links through your uh, network provider, along with the AWS cost of running this connection. AWS charges what they call uh, port hours. These port hours are the cost AWS has of maintaining this private connection, uh, regardless if you send any data over the Direct Connect link or not. So depending on your uh, connection bandwidth capacity you've requested, uh, this can cost from anywhere from uh, three cents an hour up to over $22 an hour. Now I know we're in the cloud practitioner uh, scope of things here, but if we take a look back at this high level visual of a direct connect uh, connection and put a bit of a imaginary network architect hat on here, what risks do you see with a uh, design like this? Well. We have our private dedicated network connection from our facility to AWS, 
which bypasses the internet. So everything looks great here. The issue is that stuff breaks all the time. And with Direct Connect, this is a single network connection. If our network equipment in the office or the data center fails, or maybe we need to do some maintenance on it and do a software update and reboot the router, or maybe uh, a new bridge is being built somewhere in the uh, area and a big backhoe claws apart the uh, network fiber cables that our uh, internet service provider partner set up for that uh, dedicated connection, um, or the partner's router fails, uh, or even the AWS has some you know maintenance activity going on on the direct connect equipment that uh, we tie into. Now, regardless of the situation there, uh, there's multiple points of failure possible along the single network connection. So if you're considering direct connect connections to AWS, chances are you'll likely need at least two of them to provide some sort of uh, redundancy and help safeguard against these uh, failure scenarios or uh, planned maintenance events and uh, keep your business critical traffic flowing from your data center or offices to and from AWS. So that's it for now for our intro on AWS Direct Connect. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.